welcome to another video. Uh, last video I showed you how to uh, create uh, scrolling text onto your OBS scenes. I figure on uh, this week I'm going to expand on that and uh, show you how to create a music ticker uh, using the scrolling text. Now if you haven't seen my scrolling text video I leave a link on the corner up here for you to go to for reference. Now a music ticker um, is pretty much whatever I'm going to be playing music in my stream and the ticker would just show you know the artist name and the track uh, you know name uh, onto uh, a text box that you know you could put wherever you want on the OBS uh, scene and uh, it pretty much to show you know what um you know what song is playing currently uh, in the stream or in the recording and it gives your audience uh, the idea of uh, you know what are you listening to and you know they could just see the ticker and it's like oh this is what you're listening to right now so now to do this uh, you're gonna need to get a third-party program or a plugin uh, that works with OBS um, pretty much um, there are a few options uh, online you could get um, one of them I found on uh, OBS uh, website and it's called music buddy and it supports uh, varieties of prayers as well as uh, a couple of website sources as well so basically you would go to um, I'll leave a link to this website so you could go and download the program and it's pretty much uh, a very uh, small program about a couple of megs just click on a download for Windows and you open it with uh, your latest um, with the zip program you have on your system and then you just extract these free files into a folder you could put on your desktop or in your documents folder wherever you want to put it I put it uh, on my desktop in a folder called music buddy so it'd be easy to get to so basically let's go to the desktop and I'll show you the folder here it is music buddy and you just click on music buddy to execute it and it's just a small program that um, that help extract whatever music that is uh, currently playing uh, the track the song title and things like that so you know if you were using these players like iTunes or Spotify VH VOC Winamp you know even some YouTube playlists you could you could play those and it could also extract uh, tracks off of those as well now the settings is pretty simple I mean it's nothing much you could either have your tracks to show up first with the artist or your artist track and if you were extracting from Spotify you could actually get the album art for that you know title as well um, and you could put that into your OBS scenes you want you could also change the, the folder where you where it generates um, that text file you're going to be using for your scrolling text so you could actually change the default location to somewhere else if you want anyway I'm gonna show you how this is uh, in use and I'm gonna be using Winamp I've been using Winamp for years and um, it's the player I go to whenever I play um, mp3s and 
and mp3 playlists and sorts of that matter so now once we start out you know, let's also start out with amp too Uh, here's Winamp, and the reason I like Winamp is they have a, a wide variety of virtualization um, uh, graphics you could use, you know, so it looks pretty cool, pretty naughty, so, <laughs> naughty, anyway, now let's, um, Let's uh, start off the scene by adding Winamp onto the scene. So let's go do a window capture. And let's just capture Winamp. And let's just uh, make this, you know, larger. We don't need to show the player. We just want to show the the Nardi, uh, <laughs> the Nardi, uh, graphics that is uh, showing you I mean I could use crop top um, to crop this out but I think I could extend the window to full out the screen and just move those uh, parts out so there you go that would do fine um, now let's add uh, a text Oh no, we don't want to remove it. We want to add it. We want to add a text element or a text source. And we're gonna call this uh, tracks. And uh, let's select a, a graphic uh, font for it. Um, something like digital be pretty cool like kind of like how you see a player have a digital counter and all that Let's see what this would, yeah, this would do fine actually okay uh let's read a file and just point to that to that current song dot txt the music buddy and let's change the color a bit um let's uh how about light green it's pretty cool uh give it a little background too let's give it a light background let's uh, make it more there we go Looks pretty good. let's expand it actually I don't like this visual store too much color going on whoa too naughty. Uh, this could get you really dizzy, some of them. Oh, this looks okay. Yeah. Yeah, this looks fine. Now let's add uh, the scrolling text. Let's make the text scrolling. A filter. Uh, scroll to a forward looking scroll that's good all right now let's load uh the playlist now i have a folder that i um geez one second I have a folder I loaded with songs. Of course, you know, you could always uh where did I put it? Uh there. Uh 
how this is playing. And here's the name of the artist and the song title. It's just scrolling through. One cool thing about it, you can actually uh, pause the player. And it will show pause. Which is pretty cool actually. Or you hit stop. So that you stop to play. Now let's, uh, let's restart the uh, look. And there you go. Let's uh, change the track. And it would uh, go on to the next track. So if you have a playlist that goes through, it would show up the next track on here. And that's how you um, create a music ticker using scrolling text in a program called um, Music Buddy. Leave a comment in the uh, below if you have any questions hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial and found it uh, useful and uh, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials vlogs whatever videos I'm going to be releasing uh, and as always if um, you know Hit the bell button to get notified of uh, new videos coming out. As always, everybody, have a nice day. And I see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.